You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Joe Biggs here with InfoWars.com with some breaking news. Now, a report was broke by The Guardian today. Now, they were reporting um, based off of Anthony Hill, who's a criminal defense attorney in Chicago. And what they're saying right now is going on. Chicago Police Department is arresting and detaining U.S. citizens for days on in at a secret compound. This is a place called Haman Square where U.S. citizens are essentially treated like terrorists. Lawyers have compared it to an off-the-book CIA black site. Police are seen wearing military gear and have armored tanks posted outside of the warehouse where this Guantanamo-style place is. The site is used to interrogate citizens out of the view of law enforcement chain of command, citizens are sent to a black site so no record of arrest can ever be found. Lawyers who show up to look for clients are turned away and police say that they are jeopardizing undercover operations. Now I'm going to read you a part from the uh, Business Insider article. It says, there are usually questions about whether these arrests are justifiable or constitutional. Anthony Hill, a criminal defense attorney, told Business Insider, suspected criminals are just picked up and thrown into the back of an unmarked car by police officers wielding assault rifles and wearing bulletproof vests, describing the process as highly militarized. This is one of the craziest things I've had to report on since I've been here. You know, you got to think if a place like this is in Chicago, wonder how many other black site off the record type places there are in America detaining people, picking them up off the streets, not reading them the Miranda rights, not giving them the constitutional rights that they're supposed to have as American citizens. Prisoners who ask for lawyers are denied that option at this place. And when they say, I want my lawyer, you tell them, shut up. Your time no, is expired. Get a lawyer. This is the post 9-11 world that we live in. This is a Guantanamo Bay scenario right in the heartland of America. And this is something that we are going to do a lot more research into. And I'm going to be digging into this subject for quite some time because this is out of control. We do not need this in America. Cover more of this report at the bottom of the hour after we take some phone calls and talk to Wayne Madsen, formerly with the National Security Agency. Let's go back to Ryan to let him finish up in this two minutes we have left. You say you disagree that I'm right about this net neutrality being a Trojan horse to end net neutrality. Well, yeah, it's an FCC takeover, period. That's the end of net neutrality. Forget about corporations fighting with each other. This is the government. I mean, you know, so I agree with you there. You say you disagree on the border situation. If we don't give freebies out, to the whole world of poor people, then we could bring the immigrants here. I'm not against the individual immigrant. We need them. Hell, we killed most of the new generation, 55 million kids since Roe v. Wade. So, 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 I mean, do you still disagree? Because it's not right that I can't go to Mexico and, and have a baby and have it paid for by the government, but somebody from Mexico can come here. That's wrong. And why are these people entitled? Go ahead. What's your point? Hello, hey. Um, yeah, it's a heavy, heavy issue to me. Uh, you know, welfare on its own. I mean, I live right near a town that is just built on gaming the system, and really, with you know, with an industrial town, all of that's gone. So, I mean, that's horrible. But the whole situation with illegal immigrants and who are we going to ID? We're going to—that's all feeds into the national ID. Well, thing. here's where you're Everyone's right. Gonna... Here's where you're right with Lamar Smith from Texas and the rest of them. They get police state laws passed on national ID, saying it's free legals, and then the illegals are exempt. So I agree with you and Ron Paul that the fence is bad because it's only to keep us in, not people out. I just don't want to hear. I've got to give my liberties up because of a terror threat when the government's behind Al Qaeda. Make sense? That, yeah. Exactly. That's why. It's, it's, it's a heavy issue. No, I hear you. Hear you. Look, this is all I got to know. If you want to hold over till Wayne's gone, I can come back to you a third time. 
Hillary Clinton and Obama support open borders. They also support this net neutrality deal. They also support shutting down our power plants. They also support attacking Russia. They also support funding ISIS, okay? That's all I need to know. If they're for it, I'm against it. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality, specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel body armor just won't quit. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the security basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. Infowars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called Infowars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative. Destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. We've got Wayne Madsen for about 40 minutes or so, then I'm going to get into this secret police substation. In fact, we'll keep him longer and get his take on that and take your phone calls. But I will go to Mary and Cindy and Spencer and Kevin and others uh, that are patiently holding. But before we uh, go any further, I want to just recap the news here. They are trying tomorrow to pass a secret 322-page FCC regulation, that is the FCC is going to issue it, and they say it's going to pass their board. We've got uh, multiple commissioners that actually do the work, the chairman is like the mayor, saying it's a horrible idea, they're fixing a problem that doesn't exist, net neutrality is a solution that won't work to a problem that doesn't exist, that's what one chairman said, Chairman Pai. 
You've got the Republican leadership, of course, we now learn, has been involved the whole time and supports it. That's in the New York Times. You've got the normal coalition of kind of rent a mob, fake liberal trendies that are supporting it. You've got Hillary out promoting it. This is the FCC that has no regulatory power over the Internet getting that power. And that's what Hillary said, quote, to Silicon Valley yesterday, quote, it gets a foot in the door or a camel's nose under the tent flap. And she supports it. Now, that's got to tell you something. So just like with Obamacare, the Republican and Democratic leadership are for it. The grassroots is against it until they're brainwashed. And it's the same story over and over and over again. Now, I don't know Wayne Madsen's view on this overall. I just know that he covers telecommunications, the NSA, the CIA, net neutrality, and is involved with the Electronic Frontier Foundation. And the freedom of the Internet groups has been involved in it since these groups were started. He testified to Congress, the EU, uh, you name it. Members of uh, Congress have also had him as expert witness. So he is uniquely positioned as probably the biggest NSA whistleblower most people never heard about. You hear about Snowden all day, but, but Madsen was blowing the whistle back when they didn't arrest you for exposing criminal activity 20 years ago when he left the National Security Agency. Before that, he was in uh, electronic anti-submarine uh, warfare operations in highly classified areas of the Navy. And, of course, he's a frequent guest here on the broadcast, and I appreciate him coming on on short notice. I just thought, hey, we ought to get Wayne Madsen's take on this. All I knew months ago was they wouldn't show what the proposal was, and I said, I don't want the FCC over the Internet use antitrust laws on these big corporations that are already there that they can't stop people's information going down the internet if someone violates a law those laws are on the books well that's basically what commissioner pye and others are saying we're going to find out wayne madsen's view on this and then take calls on this subject uh, and others uh, wayne madsen what is your take with wayne madsen report.com what is your take on what's happening right now well, I wish we could freeze the current status quo without any sort of, uh, my, my fear is that uh, there's been a lot of lobbyists involved with crafting uh, these uh, FCC regulations. I think there's arguments on both sides of this. Here, 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 here and I, I, w I was involved in this peripherally when I was with the Electronic Privacy Information Center years ago that the issue of net neutrality came up. Uh, and isn't that the group that turned into EFF? Uh, no, well, uh, they actually work together. They're two separate groups. Some of the EPIC people went over to EFF, so there's been some cross-pollination there. Uh, but they all basically uh, agree uh, that there ought to be net neutrality uh, where I, and I, I don't know their current take on this, I assume. EFF is now coming out saying they don't like the current plan because, uh, okay. go ahead. They, they, they probably, I'm probably in agreement with their stance. Here's the problem. Uh, the problem is that it, uh, currently, without any sort of, um, because it's out there, the internet is out there to be preyed upon by the Comcast of the world. And we know what their, their intention is. They want to create these uh, multi-tiered systems of, of bandwidth access, throughput. And if we, if we, if we have that situation, uh, small websites like the one I run, and, and, and others out there are going to be relegated down uh, with the slow throughput. Uh, the Comcast, the Hollywood studios are going to get the high bandwidth uh, throughput. And, uh, and, and, and so good content, or at least independent content on the Internet, will be smothered. Sure, that's the Internet, too. And so yeah. at, at one level, globally, they're trying to do that and then have a censored, controlled, multi-tier system, then the FCC comes in as, quote, the savior, but then that yeah. will give them regulatory power so they can then, quote, compromise and bring in the Comcast plan. And here's the pro and that's the problem, because if you get the FCC involved in regulating content, this is a slippery slope, because we know the FCC regulates content on uh, the broadcast networks, so on the radio frequency spectrum, on television and radio. That's why, you know, you can't say those seven words that George Carlin talked about. Uh, personally, I, I don't care. If you don't like what you hear on the radio or television, turn it off or turn to another station. Uh, but the, I'm, I'm really afraid that this could be opening the door for other lobbyists who represent, let's face it, I'm going to be 
right out in front on this one, uh, those thin skin belly acres from the Southern Poverty Law Center and the Anti-Defamation League who will start crying about content, and they may try to use the FCC to regulate content on the internet. Uh, and that's where I think uh, uh, this could uh, wind up because I, I, I think, like I say, I wish we could just freeze the current status quo without any without any sort of uh, lobby.